everyone greetings from tcc in this video we'll see practical number 6 that is create a database in ms access to store the patient information so let's see how to do that so go to windows and start typing access this is one of the tool available in microsoft office suite like others like microsoft office word microsoft office powerpoint microsoft office excel so access is one of the option where we can this is one of the you can say a uh, database vendor where we can create the own our own database okay so let's go with the blank database option the welcome window will be different for different versions so just search for the blank database option okay in the very first window click on it and it will ask you in the older version on the right hand side corner down here it will ask you to write down the name or give it a name a proper name to the database so now let's go ahead and create a database here in which we'll be creating table to store the patient information so let's say this is hospital db db stands for database you can give any name you want and then click on create remember where the database is getting created see the path this is the path in your case it will vary you can simply mail the file to anybody like you share word file pdf file and any other file like that so we are here basically in our database we can see all the access objects so there are many other objects we can create table is one of the objects other than that there are many other objects which we will be creating in the next practical we will see so let's focus on the table thing we all agree that table is a very organizational structure basically rows and consisting rows and columns okay we can arrange data properly in the table so let's create a table having the patient record so we can see on the left hand side by default we have got table 1 okay and it is asking us to click to add something something like that so we'll click on this table okay right click on it and then click on design view right click on it and design view okay then they are asking to give a table name so basically i can give a name let's say patient so under hospital database i can have as many table as i want a uh, patient can be a table a uh, doctors can be a table and management staff can be a table and there are many other things of course so let's click on okay so now it is asking me to decide the columns for the table patient okay what will be the column headings so let's go one by one id is a very first column it is getting generated automatically so let's say it should be not id it should be patient id and the data type is like auto number that means it will be in the form of number which will be getting generated through computer automatically description is optional you can give if you want to even you can ignore it but if you share the database or table with somebody else and if we have decided you know some given alias name or you know short names for the some particular column so you can give the description like what this column is all about something like that if you have mentioned suppose for example dob dob stands for date of birth of course so you can mention that dob stands for date of birth in description which is totally optional so now let's go with this patient id which will be the first column in our case then we have we should have a you know uh first name then then middle name let me just decide all the columns first then last name then mobile number or just simply mobile then address then gender and uh, doctor name to whom to meet okay something like that then date of birth dob and we can mention that like, this is nothing but date of birth like that something optional okay some description about it okay so this is more than enough basically so now let's talk about data type So data type is all about type of data which will go inside that particular column. So when we talk about patient ID, of course it is taking number which is will get generated automatically, right? Yeah. Then next we have first name. Okay, it has to be like short text. Otherwise we have option for long text also, but it will be short text. In different version you will see only the text option because it is nothing but a collection of character and the field size is like two fifty five. Here it is mentioned. Okay, two fifty five character is like more than enough. 
same goes for last sim it is more than enough mobile okay will not change mobile number to you know number because it will restrict us to not to save that much big number because computer will start considering that particular mobile number is like in billions and all something like that but we never perform calculation on it so let it be short text only will store all the 10 digit as a text character then for address you can have a you know long text if you want to otherwise 255 character was like more than enough to represent the text like represent the address now let's talk about gender here okay uh, there is one you know a problem here in gender there are like two options generally male and female so if i am entering the patient information sometime it may happen that like if i enter male okay m is capital and in some other case m becomes small or i sometime i mistype the spelling of the male something like this m a e l though so that thing should not happen means i mean to say like gender inside gender column uniformity should be there when the male has been mentioned by m capital it should be capital everywhere okay so that uniformity should be there okay otherwise the whole data becomes dirty so how to bring that uniformity so go to gender inside short text go to look up wizard okay it's a way of saying basically that this column will get value from where so you can see the first option they are saying that i want the look up field to get the values from another table okay uh, but we don't have another table here so we'll go with the second option that like i will type in the values that like i want so whichever values i want will will just type it here like i want mail and then say enter no not sorry enter then say back again yeah coming here and say female okay and then click on enter so two values i want to be there male and female and then click on next and then say finish okay nothing will get reflected here but when we start entering data you will see one drop down will be appearing there again in like in the similar fashion for the doctor name we can do the same thing you know when the patient approaches a hospital there is a limited list of a doctor okay so like doctor name like patient wants to meet which doctor okay so let's go with the again the same option look up wizard okay i'll type in the values and then see doctor abc some name and then say doctor xyz and then doctor pqr and see one more doctor df something like that okay and then click on click next if you have you know 10 15 doctors or 150 doctors we can enter all the doctors here even if you have the separate table for that even we can link the table okay with the previous option if you remember then click on next then finish done and date of birth can't be the date type short text it has to be date and time like this okay after selecting the date of birth also we have to look for the format like what format you want to get display so you can choose there are different formats you can to represent the date uh suppose long date will be like this 20, 12 november 2015 if you want this format then you can select this format so we are done with designing the whole table let's save this okay and let's go back to the table right click on it and then say open you will see all the column headings now being getting reflected here over the top now we can start entering data here so let's say the page the first name for the patient is uh tom and the uh, then harry some middle name and then then say sergey okay the last name and then mobile number comes into this picture you can enter any mobile number like randomly here 10 digits and then some address and inside gender now you will see drop down is coming and it is asking us to select any one of this option so let's say mail and then doctor name again the list is coming here doctor pqr and then date of birth you will see a mini calendar icon will get appear here and you can choose any particular date going back also something like that okay some randomly right and you can see the patient id is getting generated automatically when the second record is visible available you can come here and then start entering the information here let's say jerry and then you know some name like there is and then some last name should be like harrison something like that and then some mobile number then a 
again address and then male or female me to whom to meet dr df and some date of birth okay so date of birth will not be get visible like this because you remember the format has been choose the long date so you can just you know swipe it to properly it will get visible so 9 september 23 july the month name is getting displayed here so this is how we can create the table inside the hospital database and, and we can create as many tables from here in this option create you can go ahead uh, to this ribbon and click on the table so you will be having one more table you can rename it again and you can start creating table for like say doctor and so this is how we create the table and enter the information of patient okay so thank you uh, kindly have a look that's all guys from this video if you really like this video press like button and do subscribe to our channel if any queries or suggestions do comment below for more such update follow us on instagram and facebook